Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors of Mind of the Highest White Light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collective. Y'all, I end up, um, I didn't post uh, another reading today, well, earlier today, because I got, I had to get two teeth pulled, and when I tell you my whole right side of my face been hurting, but I was like, you know what, let me go on here and do me a reading and whatever. <laughs> So, if I'm talking a little funny, that is why, y'all, because I got two teeth pulled today. <laughs> I think I went live early this morning at like 2 a.m. I was glad that I end up um, doing that live earlier because, baby, let me tell you, when that anesthesia whatever it is that numbing whatever it is wore off but i had to lay down All right, you got, I'm cutting you off for now. So, collective, whoever this reading is for, somebody here felt like the best option was to, like, let you go so they wouldn't hurt you. This is somebody here that was noncommittal. This was someone that knew that they could not give you what it is, what it, what you truly want, Okay. And so they felt like instead of ruining you all's relationship, they would rather, you know, like cut you off and give you all, you know, some some space and whatever. This is somebody here that knew that they had to heal certain things, you know, in their life. They had to work on things. You know, you could have wanted marriage or, you know, just some type of commitment here. Some, you know, you wanted monogamy. And this person you know, still had their options open and, you know, they just wasn't ready. They didn't want the same thing that you wanted, you know, at the time here. But this person do want to apologize for giving you false hopes because this person, this person feels like maybe he could have led you on a little bit thinking that he was ready and he's not. Okay. Um, this person do know that you're the one. He does know that you all, you know, are meant to be together. And I feel like he's a little bit scared. It's because he knows that you're the one. But he also know that, you know, in the beginning, he gave you false hopes and the runaround and things like that. And like he's hoping that he still has a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's like y'all could have been in separation for a very long time and he's hoping that he still got a chance because he know he took a long time to give you commitment here. But you do feel like home to this person. It's like you're this person's safe place. Yeah. See, this person wanted different things at the time. You wanted a commitment and this person still wanted to like be single and explore his options and have fun here, you know? Yeah, this person didn't know how to love. Your divine counterpart didn't know how to love. All right. Even if it, if loving came easy to you, it wasn't for this person here. All right, for this person here, it it I feel like this person was disappointed in the past a lot. Okay? He was let down. And it's like when you came in, it's like he wanted to love you, but because he was let down so many times, it was hard for him to open up and be vulnerable and like commit to you here. 
because it's like he was so scared that the same thing would happen again. Like the moment he let his guard down, the moment he tried to, you know, love, like boom, something happens, you know. So that's it's like he had some form of relationship anxiety. Yeah. But this is somebody had to learn how to love himself. Yeah. He do love you though. It's just he didn't know how to show it. You know what I'm saying? This person, you know, do love you. And he feel like even if you don't take him back, even even if you don't take him back here, all right, his love for you will never change here. All right. This is somebody here that wore a mask in the beginning. This is somebody here that definitely lied to themselves i guess trying to make it seem like they didn't want love they you know love is just not for them they don't ever want to be in a committed relationship they don't want marriage they don't want kids uh, the family if this if this is somebody who has kids already he could have told himself he just don't want no family you know he'll take care of his kids but he don't want the family dynamic this is somebody that don't have kids at all. He was like, look, I don't want the marriage. I don't want the commitment. I don't want the kids. I don't want none of that. But when it came to you, when he met you, it's like he was lying to himself because he really did. Like you made this person want love. You made this person want to be a family man here. Okay. It's like he can't even lie to himself no more. He can't even... Like, fake it. Like, he don't love you. This man is in love with you, you know? He just needed some space. So, y'all, you know, don't push the issue with this person because whoever reading this is for your divine counterpart is still healing. So, don't push it. Don't rush it. You know what I'm saying? Just give this person his space and let him sort out things and deal with the things that he need to in his life right now, Okay? Yeah, this man love your eyes. It's something about your eyes here. All right. He do want to take it slow. I feel like with your eyes, it's like you you read him. Like you see, you know, past the facade. You read him inside and out here. Okay. It's like you see his soul. And he know that you know the truth. You know what I'm saying? You read him like a book. He know it. too. It's like he can't lie to you at all here okay yeah he was confused at one point like what this connection was all right but it's like he have hope that this connection will work out here all right but you know just take it slow when this person come back in collective just take it slow here okay people could be bringing you up all right people could be bringing you up here you know and it could be triggering it's because this person, you know, is trying to hide how much he truly loves you. And you got people, you know, mentioning your name and stuff like that. And it's like he's definitely in love with you, but he's trying to fake it like he don't and whatever. You know what I'm saying? And for some of y'all, he feel like you moved on or you're going to move on by the time he come in and he's ready here. All right, he feel your energy everywhere. This is somebody who who feel you everywhere. Everywhere he go, he feel you. When he at home, okay. When he at work, when he in his car, it's like he always feel you around him. Like your energy could be very, very, um, like potent here. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, let's get some of these, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this person went through a rebirth, y'all, okay? This person definitely went through a rebirth, and he's completed out a cycle here. 
Okay, so it's like he has transformed and he's been working on himself with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you got the death, you got the world, and you got the Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody here that definitely went through a spiritual transformation here. Okay, he has did the work on himself here. So in the past, he led you on. In the past, he was non-committal. Okay, and in the past, you know, he regret, you know, not speaking up and telling you how he truly felt and stuff like that and it's like now he has went through a spiritual transformation here okay he has completed out this uh, karmic lesson here and he has worked on himself here okay yeah I feel like in secret, like you didn't know that this man was dealing with a whole lot of burdens. He could have kept that from you. That was another thing. He was dealing with a whole lot of stuff, 10 of wands. Okay. He had a whole lot of problems in his life and he was hiding it with the seven of swords here. All right. And I feel like he just wanted to be left alone while he was dealing with whatever he was dealing with. Okay. Yeah. Cause your person's coming up as the king of pentacles. So maybe he didn't want to let you know that he was struggling real bad here, okay? And this could be somebody here that when he's going through something, he isolates himself, okay? Because you got the Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Hermit. This is definitely somebody here that was dealing with a whole lot in secret, okay? And he didn't want to tell you the truth about that, and he wanted to be left alone. But I also feel like it was meant for him to, uh, it was meant for him to go into Hermit here. Okay, because in Hermit is where he went through this transformation. Yeah, King of Pentacles and then Five of Cups. He took a lot of losses. Your person was dealing with a lot. So no wonder he left the connection, y'all, because he was struggling and dealing with a whole lot. And it's, it's like it was too much for him to even focus on love and you at the time, y'all. Okay. So, you know, when this person come in, just think about that. You know, with me telling you this, he was going through something. So don't be mad, you know, don't, don't, don't be cussing him out and stuff like that. And just know that this man was dealing with stuff financially. He could have been dealing with stuff with his family. He could have been dealing with his mental health. He could have been dealing with so many things. The 10 of ones is a lot, y'all. Okay. That's a lot of burdens. Yeah, that's why something was taking so long. And that's why he walked away, y'all. If you was wondering, okay, why did he walk away? Why did he ghost me? Or, you know, why did he tell me that, you know, we had to end things or however y'all went into separation, whatever was said and was done, this is why he walked away. Or he made you walk away. It's because he was dealing with something and he didn't want to tell you the truth. Okay, he didn't want to make his burden. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, this is somebody here that did not want to make his burdens your burdens here. Okay. But he do want to come in and he want to apologize, you know, for not being honest. Because the type of person that you are, I don't feel like you would have judged him. You know, you just wanted honesty. You just wanted to know what was going on here, you know, because maybe you all felt like it was you. Maybe you felt like it was something that you did or you wasn't doing enough or something like that y'all okay and the whole time it was because he was going through a whole lot in his life you know so he definitely want to come in and he wants to apologize for that here okay but he has went through a rebirth y'all he has let's see uh let's get some Ooh, my 
see which deck I'm gonna use. Mm. Okay, let's do these love oracles right here and see what come out. Anything out of this deck here, sir? No, nothing out of this deck here. Let's see which one I need to. Okay. Let me hit this one. Okay, here we go. It was all the way back here in the back. All right, Spirit, give me some messages out of this deck here. You got transparency. You see... Y'all, this is so crazy because didn't didn't that card come out and it says something about your eyes are enchanting? And I said with that card, I got that you read this person like you see you see his soul, okay? You know what I'm saying? I feel like you read this person inside and out, and it's crazy that this card came out here. This person, you see the real them, even when they try to hide from the world, even when people around them they. Own family and friends might not even know this person like they think they do, but you do. Okay, it says you see the real me, and that's why I can't hide anything from you. And I struggle sometimes to look you in the eyes. You see right into my soul, and that makes me more vulnerable. Okay, so it's like this person really ain't got no choice but to be vulnerable with you because you see this person inside and out. No matter how much they try to hide from you that something is going on, you know. Whether that's financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, whatever it is, you know. You know, you know, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, then you got insecure. It says, you treat me better than I have ever been treated. And I know that you can give me everything. I really do want that, but I am still struggling with my fears. I feel like I am not good enough for you. And it's my own insecurities holding me back. So this person here, you know, feel like you may be a little too good for them. You know what I'm saying? This person knows that you're the best thing, you know, that could have ever happened to him. But it's like his own securities is holding him, you know. Holding him back, or this is how it was in the past here. Okay. He, he could have, you know, a little fears and stuff, you know. Or like I said, that was how he was in the past. It was his own insecurities. It had nothing to do with you. Okay. So if you was wondering if y'all went into separation because of you, no. This man had insecurities. Okay. And he was dealing with a lot. But I feel like you knew that, though. I feel like intuitively you knew it because he, he said you read him here. Okay. It says, I am working really hard to level up for you and meet you as your equal, your mirror. And I know we will always grow together, but I want you to be proud of who I am. This is somebody here that wants you to be proud of him here. All right. And he's changing. This is somebody here that wants, wants you to see how much he have grown and how much he have changed and he's just ready to give you the world you know he ready to give you the world and he ready to show the world you know that you know you're the best thing you know in his life and he want to treat you as such here all right you got sorry i am sorry for the pain i have caused you and i'm sorry i wasn't there when you needed me the most i wanted to be there to comfort you but i was afraid of letting you down this is somebody here that they want to apologize because they was not there for you when you really needed them. You all could have been going through something as well. But it's like if this person couldn't be there for themselves, it's like they didn't know how to be there for you. 
but this is one of their biggest regrets because I feel like when this person needed somebody, you was there. And he feels horrible that at the fact that he couldn't be there for you like you, you know, like you really wanted and needed, you know. So he want to apologize for that, for not being there like he should have been. But he was dealing with some things. So it's like he couldn't show up for you like you wanted him to, you know. But he's ready now, okay. And he's saying, look, I'm working really hard. To level up for you and meet you as your equal. Okay. But. Definitely. This is your clarity here. Okay. This man has been working on himself. Alright. And he is. You know. Ready to give you love. Yeah. It says. I hope we can put the past. And the bad times behind us. And start again. I know I am asking. A lot of you, and I hope you can forgive the error of my ways. I acted so immaturely. Yeah, this is somebody here that's ready to come in and protect you, be there for you. Okay. Now, and they just want to know, do they have another chance, you know, at, at love with you? But that is all I have for you all collective. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you and I do too. Bye.